Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video we will see how to integrate task-oriented programming with Spring Boot. So before anything let's see what is aspect-oriented programming. One of the key components of Spring Framework is the aspect-oriented programming framework. Aspect-oriented programming entails breaking down program logic into distinct parts called so-called concerns. The functions that span multiple points of an application are called cross-cutting concerns and these cross-cutting concerns are conceptually separate from the application's business logic. There are various common good examples of aspects like logging, auditing, declarative transactions, security, caching, etc. Aspect-oriented programming terminologies, aspect, join point, advice, point cut, what are those that you need to find out? In this video, we will see how to implement logging feature in Spring Boot using aspect-oriented programming. Let's implement, before starting anything let's run and see is everything working fine or not? It's working fine, but there is no log available. Let's see how to implement logging feature using aspect. For example's requirement is something like, there is huge product thousands of classes and locks of methods then what is the most feasible way to implement logging with touching the existing code? So the answer is aspect oriented programming. Let's create the separate package for aspect. So you can keep your aspect class inside this package. We are going to implement logging feature then to make it simple class name is logger aspect. We need to annotate this class as an aspect and component. As you can see we have not added any third party dependency for logger. We will create a method and annotate with the point cut. And we will pass package structure where we want to implement logging functionality. So here star represent any text and dot represent all the methods with any number of parameters. Now we will create one generalized method which will print info log. and annotate with before advice means before calling any method that will print the log that's it let's run and see it's working or not As you can see log is coming for controller and service class list method, same way it will come for all. Let's see how to add exception log, so whenever any exception comes, instead of breaking the application, it should handle and print exception message. So like before, there is another advice after throwing.
let's review whatever we added. As you can see there is no XML configuration, no additional Maven dependency is required. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.